following takes place between 2 p.m. and 2.04 p.m. Events occur in real time. Listen, I don't care. It's been an hour and a half since I ordered that pizza. It should be here by now. Oh, I've got to go. You just make sure you get that pizza here muy pronto. Hello, recruits. It's me, Special Agent Jack Bow Wow. <laughs> I am a high-level training officer for a very important organization known as Q-TIP. Q-TIP stands for Questionable Training in Progress. And you are my new recruits. Oh, hold on. I gotta take this. Might be the pizza guy again. Hello? Listen, I already gave you directions. I told you. Go a block past Maple, and it's the first door on the right. I don't care what the guy driving the ice cream truck tells you. I'm the one who gave you the directions. Just get it to me. I've got a fever, and the only prescription is pepperoni pizza. Sorry about that. The pizza guy doesn't want to listen to me, and I'm the one giving him directions. He thinks he knows how to get here better than I do. And not only that, He's listening to somebody who's never even been here before and taking directions from them. Can you believe that? That's crazy. That's almost as crazy as people thinking they know how to get to heaven, but they don't listen to what the Bible says. Some people think that all they have to do is go to church all the time or just be a good person and that'll get them into heaven. Other people have the crazy idea that they could follow other gods and they will lead them to heaven. Well, in your lesson today, you're going to learn what Jesus said about how to get to heaven. You're going to learn there is only one way to get to heaven. So pay close attention. Now, as usual, I may need to contact you during the day. So you keep your satellite tuned to this frequency. I'll break in when necessary. Well, time is of the essence. So I better let you get into your training. Until then, this is Special Agent Jack Bow Wow. Signing off. Good morning, boys and girls. This is Miss Cynthia. Thank you for joining me today. This Sunday, we're going to continue on our series 24. And um, our lesson today will be about how to get to heaven. And so our Bible story today is found in the book of John, chapter, four, uh, chapter 14, verses um, 1 through 7. And so in this series, um, called or titled 24, we're going to be talking or we're learning about um, the last 24 hours of Jesus's life. And so remember last week uh, in our lesson um, where we left off, Jesus had gathered all of his 12 disciples um, to this into one room to have a meal with them. And so this was part of the, of the feast of the Passover. And it's often called um, the Last Supper because it's the last time that Jesus had a meal with his disciples. And so Jesus had just finished washing the disciples' feet and showed them that uh, a true leader is always willing to serve others. And so after this, Jesus began to talk to the disciples about what God was calling him to do. And so he explained to them that he was um, not going to be with them for much longer, you know. And so Jesus told them, I am going to prepare a place for you and you know the way to where I'm going. And so the disciples looked around at each other and, you know, they really had no idea what Jesus was talking about. So because this was probably the first time they had heard Jesus, um, uh, his plan, they had heard Jesus's plan to leave. And so they had followed him uh, for the last three years of their lives. And they believed that he was the Messiah, uh, the Savior. And one of the disciples uh, named Thomas said to Jesus, Lord, we have no idea where you're going. So how can we know the way? And so the disciples were confused. You know, uh, Thomas and and the others, uh, the other disciples assumed that Jesus was talking about probably like another city um, that he was going to go travel to. You know, but Jesus was talking about heaven, boys and girls. You know, um, Jesus was about to give his life to pay for the sins of the world. And so... Um, he would then have to go to heaven to prepare a place for all of his followers uh, to come and be with him forever. And so um, not really understanding this, you know, or not really understanding uh, what Jesus was talking about or that Jesus was talking about heaven. Uh, Thomas, uh, Thomas said, you know, we don't we don't know where you're going. So how can how can we know the way? And Jesus answered uh, Thomas with one of the most. 
um, powerful statements that he had ever made. You know, um, he said to his disciples, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one come to the Father except through me. Or no one can come to the Father except through me. And so, boys and girls, um, that's exactly what we're going uh, to learn about today in our lesson. You're going to learn exactly what that statement uh, that Jesus said really means. And so you're going to learn how um, how Jesus is the way, how Jesus is the truth, and how Jesus is the life. But if we, uh, before we go into our lesson, let's go over our power verse, okay? And it's found in uh, John 14, 6. And it's, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except through me. John 14, 6. So boys and girls, um, today's lesson is called How to Get to Heaven. So the world says, um, you know, unfortunately, the world says that there are so many ways to get to heaven. They say, you know, trust in Muhammad, uh, pray to Buddha, you know, do good deeds, be a good person, be a nice person, go to church. You know, um, those are all things that people say that can get you to heaven, you know. But boys and girls, the world doesn't believe. The world doesn't believe that there is only one way to heaven, boys and girls. But Jesus said something very important in our Bible story today, boys and girls. Jesus is the way. He is the only way. You know, he said, I am the way. And Jesus said, uh, he said this after he shared with his disciples that he was going to prepare a place for them. And, you know, what place was going, uh, what, what place was Jesus going to, to prepare? You know, heaven, heaven. He was going to prepare heaven. Um, that's his home. And so he could, he certainly knew how to tell us how to get there, right? You know, so for example, if I invited someone to my house, you know, over for dinner and, you know, well, of course you don't know how to get there, right? So then, you know, I have to give them directions on how to get to my house, right? Because it's my house. So I know how to get there. I know the right way to get there, right? And so then, you know, um, I say, I would love to, you know, tell you how to get to my house. Do you have a pen and paper? So write it down, right? So I'll say, you know, um, you know, you're going to go straight down Main Street and you're going to turn left on Third Street. Um, and then you're going to go six blocks down and then um, you're going to make a left and I'll be the third house to the right, you know. And so, you know, this is the way. This is the only way to get to my house. You know, and so what happens uh, if my friend decides that there are many ways to get to my house, you know, and they um, and they choose one of those ways that they think will get them there. You know, uh, what if along the way um, to my house, um, some people on the side of the road say, hey, you know, where are you going? Oh, yeah, let me tell you how to get there. No, don't go that way. Go this way. You know, and they give them, you know, different directions on how they think they should get to my house where I live. You know, and so, you know, and what about, um, what about if they just choose to, to follow their own way instead, you know, so they're probably going to get lost. They're probably going to lose their way and not make it to my house. It's my house. And so I should know the way to get there, right? The proper and the only way to get there, you know? And so boys and girls, um, we should pay close attention to the directions that Jesus is giving us on how to get to his home, right? Which is heaven. And so, boys and girls, the world tries to say that there are many ways to get to heaven, you know, but the world does not listen to Jesus, boys and girls. And so Jesus knows the way to heaven. He's the only way to heaven, you know? And we should listen to what he says. You know, he is the way and the only way to get there. And so that's why he said, I am the way. That's um, one of the things that is so amazing, boys and girls, about Jesus, that he is the way, the only way, you know? But also, boys and girls, he did say, I am the truth. Boys and girls, Jesus is the truth. You know, when something is the truth, you can't argue with it, you know? It doesn't matter if you believe it um, or if you don't believe it, if you believe it's true, you know, if it's true, then it's true, right? So like, for example, you know, if I have a, a sticky note on my forehead, it's falling off, you know, it doesn't stick very well. So like if I have a sticker in the middle of my forehead, you know, um, I don't want to believe there's a sticker there. You know what? 
and I choose to believe that there is no sticker on my forehead. But guess what? There it is. There's a sticker. There's a sticky note on my forehead, isn't there? You know, so even though I don't believe it, even though I choose to deny it or, or I choose to pretend like it's not there, it's still there. It's truth. Right. And so, you know, um, what if I go to my friend's house, you know, and she tells me she loves me so much. Right. And she's like, no, there's no there's no sticky on your forehead. Don't worry about it. There's nothing on your forehead. You know, so I begin to doubt. I'm like, uh, sorry, it keeps falling off. I begin to doubt, you know, um, whether or not the sticker is on my forehead. So, so whether I don't believe it and whether my friend is lying to me and telling me that not to worry about it, that there's no, uh, you know, sticky on my forehead, you know, that doesn't change the fact that it's there. It's, it's evident. It's, you know, a hundred percent visible that it's there, you know? So, you know, the truth is the truth, boys and girls, and there's no arguing with it. You know, there's a sticker on my forehead. There's a sticky on my forehead. And so, boys and girls, the truth is the truth. And Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, right? And boys and girls, there are many people in this world who believe that Jesus is not the way, that Jesus um, is not the way and the truth. But just because they don't believe it, you know, it doesn't mean that it's not true. Just because I don't believe it, it doesn't change the facts. It doesn't change that it's true, right? And so no matter uh, who believes it, no matter who doubts it, the truth is the truth, boys and girls. Jesus is the truth, you know? And so that's another thing that's amazing about Jesus, you know, that he is the way, the only way to heaven. There's no other way. Every other way is a dead end. Believe me, Jesus is the only way, okay? And he's also the truth, right? Any other any other thing that you want to believe in that or not believe in that will get you to heaven is, is not true. Jesus is the only way and he is the truth, right? So not only is, is he both of those things, he is the life, okay? And so Jesus is eternal life. He, he is the only way to find true life, boys and girls, in heaven. And so God's plan... Um, all along, boys and girls, since the beginning of the time that he created us, right, was for us to accept Jesus um, as our Savior, to be forgiven for our sins, boys and girls, and to spend eternity in heaven with him. And so that's life. Um, you know, that's that's the life that God has to offer uh, through Jesus. You know, Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life, boys and girls, and no one, no one, no one, no matter how big, how small, how important, how famous, how popular, um, no one, zero people, no one comes to the Father except through accepting Jesus Christ in their heart as their personal Lord and Savior, you know? And so he is ready and willing, you know, boys and girls, to forgive you uh, and forgive me of every one of our sins, you know, and give us the life that God has promised for us in heaven. And so isn't that amazing? that he's just, he's waiting for us, boys and girls. All we need to do is just to say, hey, I, you know, I, I'm really sorry for everything that I've done, you know, um, for lying and cheating and stealing and for being uh, greedy, for being uh, jealous or for envying, you know, what other people have or for wanting for what other people have you know, for myself. You know, I'm sorry for not following you for knowing the truth, um, all of those things, boys and girls, that we have to, to be aware of that, that we do and that we have to repent of, right? We have to ask God for forgiveness for all of those things. Um, and he is willing and ready to forgive us and to take us in his arms, right? Boys and girls, you have to remember, no one comes to the Father except through Jesus, you know? So let's go over our power verse today. Um, and it's found in John 14, 6. I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no one can come to the Father except through me. So no one comes to the Father. No one goes to heaven except through Jesus Christ, boys and girls. And so my prayer for you today, boys and girls, um, if you haven't received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, um, ask your parents. I, I can lead you through that prayer, boys and girls. Um, and I will. Um, but I want you to ask your parents as well, boys and girls. It's very important that um, whenever you watch these videos, if you have a question, 
Um, if something is unclear to you, that you go to your parents, that you go to someone that is also reading their Bible, that is also going to church, that is also um, in relationship with Christ, so that you can get some answers to your questions, right? Um, boys and girls, so my prayer is that if you don't have a relationship with Jesus Christ, that um, that you learn to trust Him, boys and girls. Um, you know, just in your heart, you have to believe that He is the way, that He is the truth, and that He is the life, boys and girls, and that He came uh, to earth to save us, to rescue us from our sin, to rescue us from... From all the bad things that we do, that we say, all the bad actions and thoughts that, that we have. And so that we can live with him in eternity, right? In heaven. So boys and girls, um, just have a good week. Um, ask questions, boys and girls. Never, never stop asking questions, especially if it's about Jesus, if it's about the word of God. Ask uh, someone who, who knows. Ask someone who reads the word so that they can um, help you and guide you. Okay. I love you guys. Have a great week and I'll see you next Sunday. Bye.